Hello kids! Happy Sunday morning to all of you. Good to see all of you this morning again. Now kids, you know every morning before I go to work, I will have my devotion, my prayer time, and this is where I read the Word of God and um, have a time of prayer. And also, I love to enjoy a cup of tea while I'm reading the Word. Oh, it's a beautiful teacup, yeah? Don't you agree? Now, looking at this teacup, it reminds me of a story which I have read and I would like to share it with you this morning. It's a beautiful and interesting story. The, it's, it's called the teacup story. And the story goes like this. There was a couple who used to go to England to shop in the beautiful stores. They both like antiques and pottery and especially teacups. One day, in this beautiful shop, they saw a beautiful cup. They said, may we see that? We've never seen one quite so beautiful. As the lady handed it to them, suddenly the cup spoke. You don't understand, it said. I haven't always been a teacup. There was a time when I was red and I was clay. My master took me and rolled me and patted me over and over and I yelled out, Let me alone! But he only smiled, not yet. Then I was placed on a spinning wheel, the cup said, and suddenly I was spun around and around and around. Stop it! I said, I'm getting dizzy. I screamed. But the master only nodded and said, Not yet. Then, he put me in the oven. I never felt such heat, the teacup said. I wondered why he wanted to burn me. And I yelled and knocked at the door. I could see him through the opening and I could read his lips as he shook his head. Not yet. Finally, the door opened. He put me on the shelf and I began to cool. <sighs> there, that's better, I said. And he brushed and painted me all over. The fumes were horrible. I thought I would gag. Stop it! Stop it! I cried. He only nodded. Not yet. Then suddenly, he put me back in the oven. Not like the first one. This was twice as hot and I knew I would suffocate. I begged and I pleaded. I screamed. And I cried. All the time, I could see him through the opening, nodding his head, saying, Not yet. Then I knew there wasn't any hope. I would never make it. I was ready to give up. But the door opened, and he took me out and placed me on the shelf. One hour later, he handed me a mirror and said, Look at yourself. And I did. I said, That's not me. That couldn't be me. It's beautiful. I'm beautiful. I want you to remember that, he said. I know it hurts to be rolled and patted, but if I had left you alone, you would have dried up. I know it made you dizzy to spin around on the wheel. But if I had stopped, 
you would have crumbled. I knew it hurt and was hot and disagreeable in the oven. But if I hadn't put you there, you would have cracked. I know the fumes were bad when I brushed and painted you all over. But if I hadn't done that, you never would have hardened. You would not have had any color in your life. And if I hadn't put you back in that second oven, you wouldn't survive for very long because the hardness would have would not have helped. Now you are a finished product. You are what I had in mind when I first began with you. Now this teacup story illustrates what Jeremiah wrote in Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 to 6. Let's read. Now, if you can, please open Jeremiah chapter 18 and we read from verse 1 to 6. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the porter's house and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the porter's house and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me, O house of Israel, can I not do with you as this potter does? declares the Lord, like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. Now what do we learn from this story? God knows what He is doing for all of us. In the story, the master is God and the clay represents all of us. Now God, He, the Master, is the potter and we are His clay, just like what we have read in Jeremiah chapter 18 verses 1 to 6. He will continue to mold us and make us. There will be many challenges, many trials, many temptations that will come in our life. But if we surrender ourselves to our Master's hand, He will bring us through. And at the end, we will come out to be a flawless piece of work to fulfill His good, pleasing and perfect will. So may this teacup story become our story as we willingly yield to our Potter's hand. So children, I hope you have enjoyed the story okay, for today and before we go off, let us pray and commit ourselves to Him. Our dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for today. We want to give thanks to you for truly, O oh God, you are our Master you are our potter. We are like the clay, the teacup the, from the story that we have just heard. Lord, we want to surrender ourselves to you. Into your hands we surrender. Lord, we ask that you continue to mold us, to make us. And at the end, oh Lord, we will come out to be a piece of flawless artwork from our master's hand. And Lord, we know during the process of molding, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be a lot of challenges and trials. But Lord, we know that you love us and you will be there for each and every one of us and you will never leave us, nor will you forsake us. So Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your love for us. 
We ask, O oh Lord God, that you protect us, protect our family from this COVID-19 and that you keep each and every one of us safe. Lord, we surrender ourselves to you once again. We ask for your forgiveness in the things that we have done wrong or said wrong. We thank you, Lord. We give thanks to you. In Jesus' name we ask and we pray. Amen. Goodbye, kids. See you next week.